welcome to Ainsdale. Um, we've been working on some improvements to the Ainsdale Gateway uh, for the last couple of years um, and this is part of the first phase of improvements at Ainsdale uh, where we've commissioned Paul Curtis to undertake some artwork on the outside of Toad Hall. Really exciting, all completed now um, and will be an amazing attraction bringing people to see the artwork but also see the amazing coastline as well here. It's been lovely the people from Ainsdale and the people visiting the area have all been really nice and come to me and said how much they've enjoyed watching it progress and how great it is to see the building looking different, looking uh, fresh and colourful. The sand lizard is, is one of the most important species on the Sefton coast. The race that we have here exists purely in the sand dunes. It's adapted to live in these hot, dry conditions, although it's not particularly hot and dry today, but they're a spectacular animal. A lot of people never see them because they're very wary and they spend a lot of their time hiding in the marram grass. And this time of the year, they're preparing to go into hibernation. In fact, some might have gone already in this weather uh, and they won't emerge then until next spring when it warms up. Perhaps this isn't the best weather to meet Ainsdale's newest and biggest resident, but it's great to see Paul Curtis's wonderful sand lizard mule completed. I think lots of us, including myself, have been following the progress of the work on Toad Hall over the last weeks and months. Well, today it's finally finished and it looks absolutely stunning. I'm sure lots of people are going to be coming down here to have a look for themselves and I would encourage you to do so as soon as possible because it is just amazing.